setting up effective low stress rooms for cats in shelters and homes. One of the best ways to reduce fear and stress in cats and shelters is properly setting up a cat room in the most effective and comprehensive way. In this video, we will show you three different rooms that we have set up, a large room, a medium room, and a small room. We will show you how to effectively use the space that you have and provide the least stressful environment for your cats. As we all know, stress is the number one factor when it comes to cats getting sick in shelters. So let's set them up for success, reduce their fear and stress, and in turn, increase their chances for a successful adoption. So the first thing that we do that's really important is we provide a lot of high places. So we have these long benches, which are fantastic. And underneath, we always place two beds and then a long blanket over. What's really cool about putting blankets on top of beds is that if there's any soiling, whether it's food, throw up, urine, for the most part, you can just replace that blanket instead of having to wash a bulky bed. Another thing we have is, of course, we have our treat and string toy station, as well as catnip and some feel away spray for calming. Here's another chair that we've draped with a blanket and of course provided a bed underneath. One of the things that we do that has been pretty amazing and life-changing for our cats is draping blankets over cat trees. So not only do they have the cat tree, they also have even more hide places. And it's pretty amazing, cats always manage to get underneath this, which is just even more places to hide for them. Another chair with, of course, a bed underneath. Here's our food and water station. We like to have at least one water bowl and one food bowl per cat. We do like to keep a little bit of a distance between the food and the water. One reason is when the cats are eating food, sometimes they'll shake their head and pieces fly, and so it just prevents um, pieces from flying into water. Also, there is some research about large cats and how they like to keep their water and food separate, so we like to do that. Also, if we have several cats in here, I do like to provide at least one separate food and water station and that just prevents competition and any sort of fighting if we have a cat who doesn't like eating with others they can go into their own little area and be able to eat on their own and then we come into here we always have some sort of entertainment so we'll have a tv with a dvd player we'll play movies on or we'll have a radio so we always have either or and just a note do not drape any sort of blanket underneath radios or TVs because the cats can play and get their claws stuck on the blanket and then pull the blanket and then the TV, of course, or radio will fall. Also, a side note, I would not include a big TV like this in a room full of kittens just because kittens can be a little wild and the TV is rather big. So a big TV like that is definitely for a room full of adult cats. Now we have five litter boxes. You wanna have at least one litter box per cat. And again, here's another cat tree that's covered, but also partly not covered so they can have access. But honestly, even when a cat tree is completely covered, cats are really agile creatures, so they always manage to get in there. I also like to provide a couple beds out in the open, you know, not assume that all cats want to hide, even though it's really important for cats to hide. I do provide some bedding that is out in the open by the window. They can kind of check things out. We have another bench here with, of course, two more beds and blankets on top. We have a bed under there. And of course, in the winter time, we add extra heat. This room, because of these windows, gets a little chilly. So we like to add a little bit of extra heat. We like to add some rugs. You know, cats like to lay on hard surfaces, but they also like to lay on rugs. And of course we provide plenty of toys. So we always wanna provide small toys as well as bigger toys like these ball chasers and of course a tunnel. So this is 
just one of our room setups. And these protocols have just been amazing for the adjustment of our cats, specifically new cats that come in. They have so many cool little areas to hide. Here's another example of a room setup. Cat grass, food and water, lots of toys, lots of bedding. We have our treat catnip and calming station. Here's a little hide spot that we have here. We also have one of these drawers open. So they have a couple more hide places. I like to close the door a little bit and then prop it open so they feel a little bit more secure. They've got some nice windows. Of course their TV, hide place underneath, more toys, their litter box station. And then of course the cat tree, which we do like to cover. So they have plenty of places to hide. They can jump up on the chair and jump up onto the cat tree. Right now we have all the doors open to our cat rooms. I like to cover inappropriate hide places. So I have put a bunch of towels underneath this desk so cats cannot get underneath there and we can't have access to them to socialize. Wanted to show you guys how we set up the small room. These are one of our small rooms. We have a bench here. Again, we put two beds underneath and then a big comforter on top and we always cover it so it's a hide place. This is where their litter box will go. We want their food and water as far away as possible. Food and water will go there. We have their TV set up with treats, catnip, catnip spray, their string toys, laser pointer, and a book for enrichment. This is a cat tree. We always provide lots of covering so it's nice and plush. And then we like to cover the cat tree, add a little extra hide bed there so they can go and hide. Of course we have Lots of toys. We like to provide little toys and big toys. We have a scratcher there. And then another scratcher right there. And this is one of our small rooms. You want to maximize the space. And also provide a lot of hide places. We also do paint the doors and sometimes we'll even hang a sheet if we have a cat that's a little bit more insecure in their room. Thank you so much for watching and caring about all cats. Subscribe to our YouTube so you can keep up to date with all of our new videos.